Hello, so this week um, we looked at uh, psychiatric disorders, more specifically um, disorders where we were given a case scenario where a patient came up to us and said life is just not worth living. And we were also provided some material on like kind of how to deal with these situations. So this um, this is, this topic is important to the clinical aspect of patient care because we, as physical therapists, we are now primary care for our providers, and so they might come to see us first before going to see a physician or somebody else. And it's kind of important that we um, have this in the back of our mind. So for when patients come up to us and they say things like this, or we start noticing some red flags, like we can hand pick these out before they get too far down the line and do something that could dramatically alter their life. Because we see them multiple times a week and for hours at a time, while a physician will see them five minutes, a couple of times a year, if that, unless they have some type of medical condition that is um, that is making them go more frequently. So kind of where, that's kind of why it's important for us to realize this because um, in our clinic we have a form that we have the patients fill out. It's like a depression questionnaire. And it says like some like questions on it like, do you think like, do you think, are you happy? That's one of the questions on there. Well, that's a broad term, so it goes ahead and asks more in-depth questions, and I think this is important because if we, because at the end of the questionnaire, it says, are you seeing a therapist or psychiatrist? So if they check, if they check one of the red flags and they're not seeing that, we can go ahead and hook them up with the resources they need so they can so that we can treat their body and they can treat their mind because that's you can't get better if you're not um, mentally there and willing to get better because you're stuck at a crossroad where you don't really um, know where to go. So I kind of, um, with the, the topic, I don't think life is worth living, um, me and a classmate kind of like took different... Um, paths with it. I was very conservative with it. I um, I think this is very serious, um, a very serious thing whenever people say that because I'm not their best friend. I'm not their trusted one who they come to with all their problems. So I feel like if they are willing to say that to me, they really have some things going on in their life and I need to hook them up with somebody and I don't want them to go home because if they were to hurt themselves like that's it's a pretty serious thing but um one of my friends said that there the WHO World Health Organization puts out a questionnaire and or not a questionnaire a um guideline kind of say like take them into this room ask these set of questions and like from there you can figure out like are they an immediate threat to themselves or other people and um, a lot of, a lot of my friends were saying that, um, th this is, this is what they would do. They would offer the, they would offer to call the helpline for them. They would offer them to get them help. And I think that's, I think that's great. Um, I didn't know that, um, we had a, um, a questionnaire until, um, one of my friends brought up that they had a questionnaire in their, um, clinic. And so I went and I found the clinic. But I feel like if this were to happen um, to me, what kind of realization that I made from like the reading is that there are a lot of resources out there that can help. There's the suicide hotline. There's the World Health Organization. There are laws in place that can protect these people from themselves and others in their time of need. And it, it was kind of eye-opening this week um, that uh, of all the vast amount of research out there that is available for these patients, and I, I really like it. It's it's nice.